Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at this Jellycomb Mac slash Windows multi-device keyboard. So, we have three devices. We don't have a Windows, but as you can see, it's got all the controls for that. We do have a Mac, an iPad, and a phone. Um, so yeah, let's move into it. So, when we turn it over, as you can see, we just two of the lift tabs. And then it just, yeah, this this pulls out, and then that opens up. So let's see, flip it back over, we open it. As you can see in here, we have the keyboard, and we pull that out, set that over there. You get one micro, what is this? Yeah, micro USB cable. If we um, screw it, we can see that it is, it's pretty, it's longer than my arm. It's, it, it's basically diagonal from here to here. There, it's pretty high quality cord. Set that up over there. And we lift this up, nothing underneath it. So that was just kind of a little controller thing. So, put this thing back. By the way, this is not a sponsor video. And then, so we put this in, put these down. And as you can see, this little charging port, which is over here on the side. And then this jellycomb.com made in China, recyclable, all that good stuff. So let's move into it. So if we put this back here. So then once we move over, so it looks like, oh, this is nice. I didn't know this was in it. it looks like there's a little trackpad thing you can put over if you want, like a little, um, how do you say, cover. So I set that upside down to make sure it stays. So what this has is space. Flex is very good. Not a lot of little flex. It's got windows, all this. It looks really good. On the back, we've got our user window. So what we want to do is let's take this off. Let me pop this over here, that's trash. And then, as you can see, we have, so it looks like this is either aluminum on the front, is what it feels like, and plastic on the back, on the side. So it's, it's it looks a lot like a Mac keyboard. And it's raised, which is nice. You've got your charging. It's got, Input of uh, five volts, 250 milliamps. So I don't know how big this battery is. It probably says it in this user manual. So once we go into the manual, at the start, the specifications. So compatible operators. You can do it on Android, Windows, iOS, and Mac OS. It's got a 280 milliamp hour battery. Sleep time 10 minutes after. So if you use it, and then stop, it'll sleep for 10 minutes, after 10 minutes. Battery life, 1,000 times fully charged discharge, three million strokes for each key, 200 hours standby, 50 hours continuous working. Um, you can wake up it by just pressing a key. Um, so the blue indicator flashes continuously the pair. It needs to be within eight meters. Uh, yeah. So, red, so here's the light. Uh, red light is on when the keyboard is charging and turns green after fully charged. That's nice, it tells you when. It's got this on off switch here. That's nice, caps lock indicator, which is right here, and caps lock is over here, so the indicator's here, that's nice. You've got Bluetooth channel one, two, and three, and you press those to switch, and I think it stays connected. So I think you could connect it to like Mac, iPad, and then phone, press one for the Mac, type, 
two for the, you know, right, like switch, then an on-off switch, that's nice, and then either shine or blink for these when it's connected, um, you press any key, you press the key there to go to channel two, you long press the key for three seconds, okay, all that, all right, so, the keys, mute, on all situations, I'm down, volume up, previous, play slash pause, forward, or next track, light, minus plus, and then over here, this is select all, this is copy, paste, cut, and then this over here, on Windows, it would be home page, on Android, it would be back to desktop, on iOS, it would be back to desktop, and on macOS, that is a useless key. Keyboard charging, plug it in. I think it will work when it's charging, which is nice. And then it's got sleep mode, will automatically enter sleep mode. Indicator lights will be off. You press any key and it will be waking up after three seconds. It's got some warnings and then it looks like another language I don't understand. So yeah, there's the user manual. That was very helpful. And so let's let's put this thing on. So if we just raise it up, lift it over. Oh, slides into place. I can I I like this as a protector for spills or something, but I don't know if I'd want it like. It just, it, it looks great, it's fitted properly. It fits over the keyboards, it goes down with. It's really nice, but the keys just feel better without it. But it depends on your feeling. It kind of also dilutes the keys a bit, takes away from that look. I'll test both of them out. Um, so yeah, so let me move this down here. Um, make sure you can still see it. Yep, now let me get something that we can use to pair it with. And we'll need that user manual again. So here you can see it's going to be hard to see the screen. Um, I'll start a screen recording right now and then we, I'll do a split screen. So, um, record entire screen. So. Oh, I knocked the camera. Sorry about that. All right, that's fixed. All right, let's get the user manual. And the split screen should have shown up by now because I've started recording. All right, so how to connect. Press the, so turn it on. Nice. All right, um, press the key. Flashes. Okay. Long press the key. Okay. Now it's in pairing mode. Find the Bluetooth name and the Bluetooth device list. So when you go up here, you can open Bluetooth preferences. And as you can see, that's an interesting name. But it looks. Okay. Is there a way to tell the name? This keyboard. I don't think so, but I'm gonna assume. Oh, there. Now it loaded to Bluetooth keyboard. Connect. And then click continue. If I press immediately. Shift key. Press the key once. Okay. Done. So looks like let's go to YouTube. Well actually let's test that five. Oh that works. Oh, and when I pressed play, it opened 
Oh, I don't want to open you. Music. Quit music. Quit sure. Um, what else? Just caps lock. Alright, let's type something. Oh, right. Caps lock. Shift. Um. Looks like all the keys work. That's nice. Yeah, I know results are going to be done. All right, so there you have the keyboard. It's got this nice user manual that comes with it, charging cord. I'll put that in my jelly comb <laughs> can case thing. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked up here somewhere. Um, over here, hold over the watermark, click subscribe. Please click subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Um, yeah. So this is connected, that's nice. I'll connect it to other things. Uh, I just don't really want to do that right now because that seems like a lot. Um, check out the video I have on Jellycomb's product organizer. I can, I'll bring that over right now. Let me just stop recording. So if you look, I have this Jellycomb product organizer thing. Okay, let me turn this off, put that over here along with my mat. So if you look, I've got this jelly comb product organizer. So where would I where am I gonna put this cord? There's too much stuff in the side, so what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna zip this out and open it on this side. I've got an extra space up here. I recommend you go watch the video review I did on the carrying case. It's a good carrying case. I like it. I've got all my stuff in it. Um, it holds everything really well. It was like 27 bucks or something. By the way, this keyboard I think is 37 bucks. And they shipped it out way faster than I expected. It was supposed to come two days from now. But, you know, logic. And they shipped it out earlier. And so, yeah. Um, so if we, I'm trying, there's like this sticker thing on it that I guess is nice. It feels like a high quality sticker, but I'm trying to get it out. I can't get my scissors in there. So I think I'm gonna, if I have a pencil, I'm gonna feed it through there. There we go. So I got that out. Put this over here. I know this video is kind of long. Uh, most of my videos are shorter. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of wrap it around my hand. Um, please go watch some of the other videos. I've got some really cool videos. I've got more content coming soon. Uh, I'm learning how to edit so every video gets better. Like this video will be my first video where I did that split screen between the Mac and the, um, you know, just the camera. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe bell, um, or hit the hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. I uh, hope you have a good day. Um, yeah, see ya.